Paris Montgomery set up a camera in her Houston backyard to record her cheerleading and tumbling practice, but she only got as far as taking off one shoe. If you look closer, you can see what happened. The video is grainy, but as she lowers her right foot, that dark image you see is the head of a small copperhead snake striking her on top of her foot. An ambulance ride and a blue and bloated foot and two days in the hospital came next. They blend in so good. Like I literally was stepping on it and I didn't even see it. So be careful. It is the most common by far. Uh, Mark Pyle is the president of the Dallas Fort Worth Herpetological Society, who says he does more copperhead IDs and removals than any other venomous North Texas species combined. The birds are out, the bees are out, the snakes are out too, right? And the people are out because the weather's pretty nice usually. So that brings everything together. Hospitals like Medical City McKinney say they have seen a recent increase in snake bites. But as our own Rebecca Lopez did in her own copperhead encounter on a recent hike at Cedar Ridge Preserve, experts say just back away and give them some room. Some distance. They feel comfortable. It'll take off. Or as Mark Pyle did in a recent demonstration at a wood pile at his own house, Please give it something like a dark later. trash can to crawl into so it can be relocated without being killed. Bad bite can do some tissue damage and things like that. But as far as death goes, it's very, very unlikely to die from a copperhead bite. As for our most recent victim in Houston, she will be more careful where she steps so, next time. I like, like snakes, but I don't like the ones that bite me and make me have to go to the hospital. Hospital trips, thanks to a Texas native, on the increase this time every year. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.